Welcome back to another episode. I finally found a way through this store. After talking to to a uh, to a spirit, I got in the words, which I which I said, and I went through. And the door side open, the crystal to either side of the gym. With the light go, the the voices fading first into murmuring with murmuring whisper, then silence. The path is clear. I have to be careful. This is possible possibly a boss fight. Two animites. Mm, possibly five total. Let's take care of the servants. Heavy action. Oh, and you beetle. I forgot you. Faith to them. Let's summon undead. Uh, let's do Chrono Faithful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, so this is his phone room. What does this axe do? Oh, it's a one-handed weapon. Oh, cool. Hmm, I guess I can keep that axe. Before before going going to sit down? No, I cannot sit down with that one. Ah, uh, four thirteen. Fourteen. be reaching pretty close to the bottom now. This is not a big floor. That's our awesome man right there. It's spirit of old Noir. The shade emerged like a wound in the world, split open to the to re reveal a hollow darkness. Beneath a writhing crown of shadow lies a gleaming mask, bearing the visage of the older man. The silver face turned towards you, features cold and still. From within the socket of the mask, guttering fires emit their eerie light. Whatever happened, happened already. I am John. I have come to come in search of the master below. Then you are no lost soul of mine. No soldier. I have no power over you. But neither have you found your quarry. For before you is Ard Nua, king in life of a great people, master now of nothing. If you're not, not, if you're not master in this place, who is? Something with a longer reach, for I can do nothing outside this wretched uh, chamber. This stone is like a anchor, the mask turned back toward the crystal at the center of the room and the body there. Many souls do pass from time to 
time to time into this place. The Audra draws them deep, and there they are consumed, but not by me. Something dwells in the place beneath us, and they are feed upon my people as they did when we drew breath. It's an old ancient thing, and you will not conquer it any more than we would conquer in ignorance. Ornua said suddenly shudder, and the shape of him shape shape of him seems to warp and twist. The time of his dark crown rolled on, and the surface of his mask clipples like molten ore. None walk there save Ornua's line. You will not tread in that place. Not there. Uh, let's use my diplomatic skill. Be calm. I mean you no harm. You can do nothing. I would not suffer gladly to keep you from that. From that place. Do you think to fool me? We have suffered too many traitors. Old Nua raises a hand towards his face. And the fires, fires there dim. You would only be destroyed a, as swiftly as any other soul which ventures there. I cannot risk that. You should, you should meddle with his with his statue. Nor will I allow it. But you see them. What remains of them, as the mad one did before you, as I do, my subjects. You built the endless path. The endless paths. A thousand hands toiled to create it. But it was my voice, my will, that directed them. The great work of our age. Or it would have happened if they had only allowed me to finish. If they understood that from such rotted foundation could emerge a wondrous achievement that the same curse I sought to cure affected them in turn. That my son might from one moment to the next be lost to me is uh, is upon is abomination. For seconds, with grief, ever beating through the chamber, he wants only that I should be proud of him. How can a father convince the son he might accomplish nothing and still be the light of his, light of his life if he's gone? So many hours and days spent wondering if I had been there but a moment earlier, if I had stopped him from leaving that morning, if I had only known that I would never see him again. Lost. Treading these endless paths. These regrets, with him forever moving out of reach, to some darker place, away from me. Have they loved nothing in all their lives? Lost nothing? Wives, husbands, children? Might I not show them then the agony of it? Let go with option three. I un I understand your grief, but why all this? It did not startle. How could it? I was mad with mad with grief. I summoned workers, mages, servants. We plunged headlong into our quest. I could not see for tears. And for first, nothing. Feeble effort, false, false starts, days of nothing. And all the while I was certain I was uh, losing time. I gave permission that we, that we should try new methods. That we should bolster our knowledge of the soul. And with these barbarous acts we began at her last learn to find the edge of that veil. My people told me they 
they could find my son, but still we had not means of uh, means of extracting him safe intact. And and at last, when the discovery was at hand, we were betrayed. All that we had paid, the uh, lives lost, the taint upon our souls, all for nothing. They destroyed the titan, cleaved him from his roots. I will never see him again, even in death. We have been more wholly separated than if I had never known him. He will have forgotten me. Have I not paid? Have they not cost me all I had? Let, uh, let be kind here. Let go with option two. Perhaps your your son, uh, 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 spirit still remains here somewhere. You think the possibility does not rule my thought? I have been have been been bound as surely as if they attended it. It is an irony I have reflected upon for longer than you have walked the world, and now you think to console me. Let's go with one of the first two options. It is not uh, the chamber binding you, it is your rage, your grief. That is, no, I have tried to leave, tried to leave this place. I would go to my son, I would let nothing stop me, you are, you are lying. The soul here, they are all trapped within it a moment. They they cannot free themselves. It is the same with you. No! It, it is not my doing. It cannot be so simple. I will drive the invaders from the halls. I will go down those final steps and there finish my great work. None will stop me. Look around you. There are no invaders. Odd, odd newer turns regarding the room. Then his fiery gaze settled back upon you. Aye, a blue f fire sparks behind all new mask, casting sickly light across the tile. No, no. You will go from here and bring them with you. Bring them up again with blade and fire. They will destroy all that I have worked for. They will steal my only hope. Anua raised his arm, now lashing tendrils of shadow. We will allow the rabble to, to strike us from this road. To, to steal my son from me a, a final time? Up, soldiers, up! Conquerors of death! Children of the wheel! Andara! Riomara! Esarna! Keep them from the statue! Oh, great. I was right, it was going to be a boss fight.
Okay, the fight is not going in my favor. Really, you spirit, I don't like you! I'm going to reload this and finish this fight, then then continue the recording. And this is the good save. After trying to defeat this this boss and his his group. And it took me multiple times to actually figure a tactic tactic out. I'm halfway through finishing this boss fight off, but I found one good tactic is to bring them here in this area and focus fire on one for the most part and try to reduce their their buffs they they have. Let uh, we can there to defend it even more. I can't jump move. Let's uh, finish this grind shot off with the dragon. This uh, boss hmm, was definitely was quite the challenge with through the multiple attempts uh, with the uh, spirit putting charm paralyzed onto my and onto my teammates. Why can I not move? Oh, John can't move. Time for some rest. 
Try the morning. Hmm, that's useful. Well, this can just be put in here. to help the spider creature to buzz you. I will continue this when I actually figure a way to get John to move out of the way. I figured out what the issue was. There was some bug that, that I had to re have to load my save game again. What does can of what does Kana want? That shape then was the great Ard Nuer. Death, I know, can twist the soul. And yet, I felt more sadness for him than anything else. Do you think he built the whole of Endless Pass so he could see his son once more? I don't. I don't know if I blame him for it. From one moment to the next, I keep changing my mind. Let's see, I can choose multiple options. Uh, let's go with option two. That one seems seems to be the best answer here. I would hope otherwise myself, but I can't be sure. I have no thumbs, perhaps, but my family can decide. This was all much simpler when I believed him to be a wise king. Thanks, thank you for lending an ear. Was there any, anything else I could do for you? It's good to be on the road again. Wanderlust is nothing rare in the people of Palatine. And often I think myself alone in loving the land as much as the sea. I will continue this when I uh, go back to the surface and get some more supplies. Oh, I should check this room first. More gems, anything of value here. Nada. I will continue the recording when I get back here. Let's uh, continue this uh, episode. With a uh, potentially floor 16, but I have uh, 16 floors. Oh cool, I got a medal for that. Let's have a look at the map. This is a fair size uh, 
level. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. And first, these are actually not uh, calm at times. If you do ever have uh, the chance, uh, fishing on a boat or even a canoe is quite comfortable. It is quite comfortable. Oh, Zerups, I forgot. Forgot about them. I'm actually curious, how did they get down here? Hello? Hello? to make it up to the floor in time to get that bonus. How do you I mean? This is too easy right now. One, two, dexterity. Uh, no, it's not worth it. Good, good points for the mother to be on it as well, just for the kills. Quick save. Just in case if anything terrible happens. Hmm, I cannot get away at this point. What about down here? Just looking at the statue here, Shine, this has actually been here for a very long time. So I'm curious, how long did it take for all of this to be dug out and to be made? Hmm. 
These stairs ahead have crumbled away, leaving you at the edge of a dark pit. You have to proceed down carefully and climb back up may be dif difficult. Well, we have to proceed forwards. The, sh the shifting rocks and crumbling wall makes proper slow and treacherous in a last stretch before the barn. Kana steps on a loose stone and rolls the rest of the way to the bottom. Uh, Kana is real, will most likely suffer a light to probably a severe wound for that. You find yourself at the at the bottom of a wide basin. You looking up at Titanic border and Adra formation. Following your lead. Yes. Well, that is going to hurt his aim a bit. That's an another Parsad who died. I shall be discreet. Okay, a dragon. Oh, it's the Ajra dragon. Cool. From under a cloak of gloomy shadow, lit only by the sickly hues of Ajra statue. Emerges what can only be a be a dragon vibrant living Adva plate its hides. The movement of its great joint is uh, like uh, the grinding of waters. Just thinking of having Adva armor, putting that to a dragon, that would make it pretty durable. But I am getting off topic right now. The dragon stretches itself up to its full height, its horns looming like towers, and then it lowers its head, turning a sharp and intelligent gaze upon you. Saguenay eyes grow wide with wonder. Now this would be a trophy to show the family back home. Yes, Showing that uh, you killed, or at least interacted with a dragon, would be a uh, trophy, uh, at least. Especially a Adra dragon, as well. Here you are, nearly at the heart of the world. What a journey you have made. In a rambling, living cadence of growls and hisses, the dragon speaks. It is gleam like ivory, uh, ivory spears. I must give uh, some credit to the uh, writers. They know how to how to use uh, words to uh, paint a good picture. What is a dragon doing down here? I have been here since the beginning. I watch the Anguithans carve out their walls, shape their great titan. I have seen their final moments. Mel, I am sort of glad I have Kana with me. With all I have done so far, besides from the DLC, this will give me a bit of a different ending, which I may actually put up after beating Theos again. We have that in common, I think. How fortunate you are to learn such well-guarded secrets. All it has cost you is your life. She settles a golden eye gaze upon you. All it have cost... All of... 
she settles a golden gaze upon you. Let's try to be diplomatic here. I do, I do not want to get into a fight that I don't have to. This is your way, isn't it not? To brandy words and, and sit up blows. To, ne to, ne to ne negotiate and promise. There are no three words that will save you here, Elf. We come to our limits. I cannot let you leave. You have every dragon hunter for miles down here trying to make a name for themselves. And you, well, you can't go any further. This is the end. Can we not part ways peacefully? I'm afraid not. I will see your soul put to good use. You have earned pride of place. The dragon reeled its head, nostrils flaring, and moves towards you, jaws agape. Well, I will continue the recording when I am almost have finished beating this boss. My first attempt uh, against this dragon is is un is unsu unsuccessful. In the next episode, I will begin off with uh, me about killing the dragon. So I will continue exploring the rest of this floor and whatever. Else, it is uh, below the uh, castle. See you in the next episode.